Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum here on the last day of the year. Um, yeah, it, it only makes sense really to focus on the lower level price action at the moment. It is extremely, extremely slow. Um, I think we have possibly the emergence here of some kind of a, a trend channel here again uh, on the small scale actually. So if I zoom out, you can actually see, one second, if I go to the 30 minute chart, you can see that we've got obviously this yellow wedge that we broke out of, so I'm going to take that out. We've got the larger channel here that we still have. And within the larger channel, we've got a smaller channel, or how do we call it? Maybe a larger triangle or something, but it is certainly something we can identify. Down here, we've got our trend line. Um, actually don't need that one because we've got the large trend line with three touch points. But up here, we certainly also have four touch points now. We might get a fifth one. Just wanted to make you aware of this resistance here. Yeah. And again, it's hard to define it super accurately because the question is always with these trend lines, do you use the wicks? Do you not use the wicks? And there is not really a rule for it. Trend lines can be subjective. If I don't use the wicks and I go to the one hour and I only use the candle bodies, then we actually get something like that, which is also doesn't look very relevant. Um, so it's a bit of a mix. It's always a bit of a range anyway, but maybe we we use it or leave it like that. And it shows you that we found here certainly resistance. Yeah, three of these candles touched the trend line. And here we got very close and on different time frames we might have touched them. But certainly this is um, a trend line that is relevant that we just got rejected from. So the point here still is, you know, has Ethereum found support now here? Because it is still the idea to go up in this higher C wave. That is still my preference because the whole structure would look much better with at least three clear waves. Better would be five, yeah, but at least an ABC would be preferred. If we break below the white support area down here, then I will change my preference to going lower straight away. We just have to be, a, you know, we just have to adapt. If the market does something that suggests a different outcome, we have to change our view. That is very important. That is especially important in environments like this where you don't have a clear trend. We are in a range very clearly. So if the market makes a decision, we have to adjust our view. And the Elite Wave Analysis provides here great value in that it allows us to understand where is that area that below, if we go below it, it may take another turn, it may take another direction than uh, is preferred at the moment. And that level is below 1162, here below this white support area. This is still relevant. Um, didn't want to move that. This is still relevant. I mean, in theory, um, you could still find support at 11.50 and go up. Yeah, that's in theory possible, but we can only operate in this space by you know understanding likelihoods and probabilities. And for me, it's below that white support area that we could still get into at any moment. Um, below that area, it would just get very likely that we will see a move straight away and follow the blue count to the downside further and we'll retest first of all the um, $1,000 level even without a higher degree wave two here, um, well, a higher level wave two, it would then have to be somewhere here and I will have to work out where, possibly here. We had a very short ABC then, um, shorter than it would be ideal, but we would then have to consider that the wave two actually ended here and that we're now in some kind of a, um, a move to the downside already, yeah, unfortunately. Okay. That's where we are here. And in the very short term, however, as long as we're holding this larger support area down there, we could focus on higher. And especially as we have seen some kind of a nice reversal here yesterday by Ethereum when it came down to 1183, moved up in what I could consider and count as five wave move. It's not entirely clear, but it's, it is what you can interpret as a five wave move. But this is only an indication that the trend could have changed now to the upside. Um, it is this a uh, support area now, the smaller support, and I may actually change the color to be able to differentiate it from that support area. This yellow support area now needs to hold for, um, to still have a, a high likelihood of moving up. Now, we already got rejected at this trend line, as you can see, and you can see on the 15 minute chart, it, it might make sense to actually move it up a little bit. So again, these are a little bit, it's always a bit of a range, these levels. You can even put, 
you can even put a range on your chart if you like you know um so that you get a good idea um but it's it's not too relevant um what is important is again that we hold the support area um at the moment we could make a case and say okay maybe this abc to the downside was finished i mean i think yesterday we talked about possible targets here for the c wave and we took the the length of the wave a we went to the high of the b wave and we said an ideal target here would be the 1.618 extension that was at 11.93 it actually eventually did drop down to 11.91.60 so pretty close um it also went into the support area as indicated yeah um again again this is a trend reversal area where you or whoever yeah could have set a long trade yeah um and it reversed out of it but at the moment i don't have any sign that this is moved up impulsively yet so there is two possibilities the possibility is yes this was a wave one up here trend change signal the abc is already done and we've got our wave two in here yeah, and the c wave could have unfolded in a one two three possibly four five so the c wave was in or and that's the other interpretation which we have n you know there is no guarantee at the moment um one second there's no guarantee that this is how it is or you know the other way around at the moment we need to wait for confirmation that's the uncertainty in the market especially on lower time frames um let me just move that to the side for now it could be that we still get a larger abc that's at the moment not entirely clear especially as to the upside we only have three waves so far so it could very well be the b wave at the moment um and we really only came briefly into the support area and we haven't moved above the wave one yet so if we get above the wave one we have to um assume that the wave two was already in here as long as we stay below that we need to keep an open mind it could be that we come down once more lower in a c wave in that scenario however it needs to hold the 11 85 level here in the short term to allow this to be still an unfolding impulse for now i will label it as finished but i'm not convinced it is finished the market will have to prove it by breaking above the wave one high and then follow through get above the wave b high at 1203 get above the wave x high at 1230 and then we can move higher and that's my update about ethereum i hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.